Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are building a Lego elf set today. Yes, I hear you saying yay, because I have taken a while to get to these, but they are actually my favorite sets to build because they are so whimsical and so fantasy and, and they're just visually stunning when they are finished being built. So this one is the Lego elves, Ira and the Song of the Wind Dragon. So another dragon, yay! And we've got, let's see what we've got in the book. We will, sorry, in the box. We've got two books. We've got three bags of goodies, a little dragon head and some stickers. And Ira's new outfit is absolutely epic. It, th th these elves get new outfits each season and they're just getting better and better. This one's almost like a, a like armor. It's laced up at the back. So like a leather plate across the front with some fabulous embellishing with all of the, the gold and the wind elements on there. She looks absolutely fantastic in this new outfit. I just adore it. I, I would love to see more outfits this detailed because it goes, the patterning even goes all the way around the back. Now that doesn't happen in the Friends characters. The other one in this set is Lumia and her, oh my goodness, her outfit is also absolutely stunning. It's really elegant and swishy and swirly and there are curlicues all over it, but it still looks like armor. So <laughs> and, and look at the really the fine detail of the markings on her forehead and she's got iris hair but in a different color and it's got the ombre on the back when I can just get it on straight. We'll turn her around so we can have a look. So she's got the gold ombre on the bottom of her big swishy hair and once again two fabulous fabulous looking new outfits. Ira has got her wind element here, her power on her hand and Lumia wait for it this is gorgeous she has got a staff this is her power-up staff according to the description and I'm assuming she can control the wind and doesn't it look fantastic it looks like a big windy wave it just looks gorgeous it should probably face out that way and she can try and manipulate Ira with that but she probably shouldn't be doing that she should save it and use it later now the set also comes with Sebastian who I believe is a music master at the music school in the music school of the air that we're going to be building and he has got the most just this dinky little feather sticking out of the top of his head it makes him look kind of regal and kind of cute too <laughs> and we've got a shadow bat in here and he looks kind of geeky. Look at his big goofy smile. I love their transparent wings. I have no idea why they have a hole in their back, but this one is going to go over here and he's going to look, <laughs> he's going to look so goofy. They, they don't look scary, thankfully. They just, they look really cool. Like the, like the goblins from last season. Right. First up, we have got a dragon. So let's get this dragon done. The, the dragon, Cyclo, is the wind guardian and cyclone is the guardian of the magic wind diamond the element that is trying to be stolen this season by our new antagonist oh, it's all very exciting nice to have some new characters and this dragon is actually quite a little one got some transparent wings and tail pieces so there's the tail on now but the detail hasn't been left out. There's plenty of articulation. There are plenty of ways to play with it. Plenty of posable ways that we can, well, pose it. <laughs> posable ways that we can pose it. I'm doing really well with speaking today. So that's where our wings are going to go on. And there's going to be a saddle on the top. Now the head mold is familiar, but the eye looks, look at the two different colors in the eye. And of course, once again, there are different markings and patternings around the eye. There are actually no eyelashes on this dragon. So according to what you've told me in the past, if there are eyelashes on the animal, then the animal is a girl. So Cyclo must be a boy, according to that reasoning. I don't actually know, but that's what I am assuming. So we've got some really nice little joint work happening on here, a bit of white horny bits going out the back, and that's going to just add some very nice definition to this dragon when he's completed. And on the top is this very important wind diamond. And he's going to try and keep that safe. And Ira is going to help him. And Lumia, of course, is going to help too. Now, I've forgotten to put the saddle on the back. I got too excited about making the head. So let's put that on. And that was all supposed to go on. That was all on the previous page of the instructions. <laughs> but we can always turn back. And a little dragon. But there's spots for two people to travel on the top. Or two elves to travel on the top. So that is cool. And I only saw a ball joint for two legs, one on either side. So this is a two-legged dragon, which, hold on, 
Hold on, somebody did tell me in one of the last videos with the other dragon that only had two legs. Uh, now what do we call it? A, is it pronounced a wyvern or a wyvern? I actually don't know. I think it's a wyvern. I've never heard it spoken. It's one of those words that I've only ever read in a book and I don't actually know how to say it out loud, but I think it's a wyvern. And if you know that I'm wrong, you are more than welcome to tell me in the comments because I can take constructive criticism, don't you worry. So two legs are on, beautiful looking dragon, but looking a little bit bereft without his wings. We can put Lumia up here and we can sit him down and she looks kind of tilty backy when, I don't think she, she doesn't look too comfortable <laughs> when he's sitting down. But we'll put some wings on this gorgeous, gorgeous dragon and then he'll be complete. He's just such a little one, but it's so nice, he's not lacking in detail. Look at the wings here. They are transparent, obviously, or translucent, and you can see through them. And they kind of look like shards of wind shooting out from the side. So he uses the power of wind to push himself forward. So gorgeous. We've got one on one side, so obviously we need a mirror image for the other side. This is all kinds of gorgeous. And because all of those bits on the wing are articulated, you can pose them and angle them and put them around and decide how you're gonna make him look. There, he works very effectively, very efficiently. Let's see if he flies. Off you go, there we go. Cyclo's up in the air. Yeah, he just rides those winds. He's awesome. Let's see if we can go up again. He is really so good at loop the loops. He's come down to land again because we're up to bag number two, which is the beginning of the build of the music school. And this is the very first floating island. So it is up in the sky. It's a school up in the sky. Wouldn't that be the most awesome place to go to learn music? And it's going to just be spectacular. So let's get it going. It is white on the base. I'm assuming to intimate that it is the clouds up in the sky. In fact, the school might be built on the clouds. So cool. There's a turny bit. I love turny bits. That means that there's going to be some motion here. And Lumi is just going to test that out for structural integrity and it looks pretty good. Over here we've made an interesting little base for something. Find out what that's for in a moment. There are some really fabulous transparent pieces and they're turning into crystals, of course, because this is an L set. So some gorgeous ice sky crystals. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Icy sky crystals. <laughs> but they're really, really pretty. The transparency of them just looks, oh, just looks amazing. And lots of blue see-through pieces too, because I'm assuming it's pretty cold up here in the sky. And I think it's all icy. Oh, look at this. We have a nice big sticky outy roddy bit S hmm. for suspending and it's see-through. So we're going to be suspending our suspending our disbelief here. It's 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 a floating island so that we can put it on here and it's going to float out in front. It's going to be a little movable island that you can swing from one side to the other. And the translucent rod, the transparent rod, means that we can swing it around and you can pretend that it's actually not connected by anything but the wind. <gasps> this is awesome. This is so very, very cool. It's really, really attractive. I, I'm never disappointed in elves builds. Look at this now. This is roots because it's bits of earth here, bits of soil hanging up here out of the sky. And there are roots, obviously, still just dangling out of the earth. Now, this sticker here has got instructions for something. It, we, we'll find out what that is in a moment. And it's actually hidden inside this box. <laughs> That's going to be the handle. That's very clever. The flower's going to be the handle. The box is hidden inside the earth, so you can pull it up. We're going to have to keep building around it so it really looks hidden. Check that out. You would not know that was there if you didn't already know that was there. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, this is coming along very, very nicely. It's looking great. Look at the structure coming up from underneath. Definitely looks like big clumps of island has just been ripped out of the ground and suspended up here in the sky. And I can see 
uh, those little jumpers down there, which means something's going to be hidden around the back of this floating island as well. We're going to have to wait and see what that is. But the structure is all coming together very nicely. There are some gorgeous see-through pieces here too. Oh, and the little mossy printed pieces. We'll have to move Ira out of the way there because we've still got to, still got to get some more pieces on the top here. Some lovely green pieces of grassy earth all up here in the sky. Oh, I love it. It's looking just stunning. All right, we are now building on top. We've got the earth underneath, the soil underneath, some little hidden parts. And now we're building the teeny tiny school of the sky, the music school in the sky. Got some stepping stones there and some more translucent pretty 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 little crystals and some flowers they're all blue flowers up here perfect for the sky still hidden in that you wouldn't know it was there I love that <laughs> and this is a music school and Sebastian is in charge this is Sebastian's stand and Sebastian has got a pokey stick there we'll find out how he uses that in a moment but it's a music school so we need some instruments so the first of the instruments up here that you can learn if you attend the music school in the sky is uh, something mysterious. Oh, it's a harp. What a beautiful use of that big curlicue piece. Oh, perfect. Perfect for a wind, wind element. That's so nice. And we've got some different musical motifs here. This one, I'm going to assume is for summoning Cyclo the dragon. So if you play that at mezzo piano, so moderately softly, then you will be able to summon Cyclo the dragon. Hmm. <laughs> That's very useful. Nice to have some new music as well. Another crystal maybe? Yes, definitely another crystal. This one's going around the back here in this hingy piece. And in the hidden spot underneath the ground, which is up in the air, <laughs> we've got something in this crate, something very important to the story. And it has got the wind element on, which I haven't put on straight, but I fixed that up maybe a little bit with my teeth. Shh. Mm. Now, in this box here are the instructions for the cyclone bow. This is Ira's special weapon she's going to need to be able to defeat the shadow bats. So this is here. All the pieces of it are here inside this box under the earth. Very, very important to the plot. So we can put it together like this, and I know that because of the instructions, and Ira can use it. We'll pull it apart again, disassemble it, and hide it down here under the earth to be used later, discovered later. All right, this is looking so good. We're up to bag number three now. Look at my little floating island there. Look, they can use that to go from one to another. And there's the little stepping mossy bit there. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. All right, next musical instrument that you can learn here is... Not certain yet. Ah, we have a keyboard. So is it going to be a piano? No, actually, it's not going to be a piano, and that's in the wrong spot. There we are. Because these need to be instruments that are powered by the air, right? Or you could play them simply with your air power. I suppose you could push the wind, push the keys down with the wind. But no, it's not actually. It's a pipe organ. Isn't that so elegant in gold and purple and white? This is the most spectacular school. Do you play a musical instrument? What instrument do you play? You need to tell me in the comments because I would love to know. And while you're telling me in the comments, I'm going to keep building and see where this school goes. Oh, look at that structure there, just with those little higgledy-piggledy pieces out there. There's a light on the front just to light up the entrance. And now we have an archway. <laughs> and a place to put Lumia's staff. No, we actually don't have a place to put Lumia's staff on this build at all. She's just going to have to look after it. All right, we're up into the roof section now. And it is all looking really, really good. I love the gold scroll pieces. They make just beautiful definition around. And, oh, look at that. That's the door. Isn't that stunning? <laughs> I'm just loving all of this. It's visually really, really attractive and 
the colors work beautifully together and they're just elegant and there's a little bed up there now so for Sebastian it's where Sebastian bunks <laughs> gonna have to work really hard to not let him fall out of there ah there we go up there oh <laughs> it's really slippery let's just stick you on the wall there for now while we keep building and I'll maybe blue tack you on <laughs> later so you don't keep falling out you are a bird though he's a bird so he'll be okay if he falls out all right now we have got some of those fabulous hinged roof pieces that we have in all of these elves buildings and they make some really good angles that you wouldn't be able to achieve otherwise without those hinges looking so good still love that floating island out the front a teeny tiny hinged roof piece how's this gonna go on so that one goes on that side and we need uh, a mirror image one for the other side so pretty and in this little spot here we have a token branch they've taken a tree with them and this one's growing more of those gorgeous blue flowers and cherries so they've got something to nibble on up here Oop, hold on and we can angle it all around because it's on a hinge looks fabulous it just looks fabulous all right next sticker oh it's a sign to go next to the door or over the door it's got a mandolin on it and I'm assuming it's a mandolin it's some sort of stringed instrument could be some sort of mythical stringed instrument it's not the right shape for a lute and those big curls with a horn on the other side or a thorny bit on the other side make a spectacular embellishment for that sign right <laughs> I'm gonna just hope that Sebastian doesn't fall out up there we've got some more stickers here now look at this it looks like Phil has actually been taking music lessons and graduated from the school here of music so I don't know why he's now fighting against the elves it looks like the shadow bats might have been on the side of good at one stage and this piece of music here I'm going I think it's to summon the wind that's what it looks like to me so when you play that particular musical motif on the on the pipe organ then you can summon the wind music is very powerful now we could put the staff here but that's not actually what belongs here <laughs> we saw a mandolin up on the sign so obviously they offer mandolin lessons or some sort of maybe a round lute maybe it is a lute maybe I'm just gonna have to give in and say it's a lute some sort of elvish guitar so that goes up there on the hook and now now we've finished this is a great set it really the building itself is magical just magical and we've got a dragon and we get a teeny tiny bad vehicle <laughs> it's so cute you wait till you see it teeny tiny bad vehicle for Phil for Phil the the, the, the naughty shadow bat because he's going to well he's gonna take some pot shots at Cyclo he's got some little bat wings on it and a teeny tiny stud shooter and that goes here on the front of his little flying vehicle and a couple of extra little am ammunitions there for him couple of extra little studs and this is how it propels itself around it's actually an airship a tiny airship just sized for one shadow bat <laughs> how cool is that <laughs> it's really cute cute but evil <laughs> all right this attaches here like this and now he can take off up into the air and he could be a menace to society <laughs> he's ready the whole set is ready it's beautiful it's so beautiful I don't know quite what's going on with the story but today I can see that Ira and Cyclo are being antagonized in the air by that cheeky little shadow bat Phil so Lumia is gonna come over here and she is going to unearth that hidden secret from many generations ago and see what is actually hidden in that box that her ancestors said she should only open up in times of great need and it has the instructions for something that she can use her power up stuff to unearth down here at the bottom of the floating island it is the cyclone bow and this is going to be perfect to defeat that pesky shadow bat oh look at that it's absolutely perfect 
that's crash tackled him down to the ground. And now they can all have a bit of a rest. And uh, yeah, Phil needs to have some extra music lessons as punishment. <laughs> you shouldn't use music lessons as punishment. Music is not a chore. Well, it is that time of the video again when I remind you to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And do give this video a thumbs up. I love to see those little thumbs. They make me so happy. And I'm going to be back with another video very soon. Make sure you check back in. I'll see you later.